Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of Unknown to World Known. We're back, 10 games into the season. We've had a very mixed start. So following the 1-0 loss at the start of the season, we bounced straight back with 3 wins in a row. Beating Hasselholm 2-1, then we beat Tvarkas 1-0. Followed by another 1 0 against Angle Holmes. We then drew 2 2 with Oscar Hams, which, to be fair, they were probably the better team. We we stole a point there. Then we lost 3 0 to Lindome, and that one wasn't pretty. We didn't deserve to even have two goals in that game. We did try to sign Lipovac after because he was phenomenal, but he wasn't interested in joining us. We then lost to Young Ho Ping's Sodra, who, to be fair, are the team that are favourite to win the league, and we gave them a very good game. Lost 1 0, though. Before most recently, we picked up a 3 2 win against Kvid Ding, and also a 1 0 win against Troll Hutton. But most recently, we did lose 2 1 to Torns in a game that was a bit disappointing. We didn't really get going in that one. Today, we've got Malmo, who are currently the team at top of the league, and Guys, who are currently the team second in the league. So it could be a long episode for us today. We're currently sat in 8th place. 5 wins out of the first 10. 1 draw and 4 losses. Hopefully today against Malmo we can at least pick up a point. They're currently unbeaten so it is going to be a tough game. But let's see how we get on. And the lineup for this game. We've gone with a 3 one 4 2 We've kind of adapted this into our systems. We've got Oscarson in goal. Back three of Widfalk, Jakobsen and Froger. Traore is the whole midfielder, with Sharifi on the right, Roljanovic and Dimitrovic in the middle, Vittori on the left, and then we've got Lydevel and Arvidsson up front. Corner kick for Malmo early on, goes to the far post. Oh my goodness, Traore and Sharifi have managed to clear it off the line. Froger with a cross in here. Widvalk gets the header into the back of the net and we lead 1-0. Fantastic start for us here. 25 minutes gone. And we lead thanks to a free header at the far post. Froger with a throw in here. Gets it to Traore. Froger then crosses it in. Leidervall at the far post, but he heads it wide. So at half time, we're 1-0 up. It's going quite well so far. We've limited their chances and we've took our one big chance. So let's keep it up in the second half. Free kick from the right-hand side. Froger's going to send it in. Can he find... Ahead, he can and Arvidsson heads it over the bar. That's unfortunate. But we go straight back in with a highlight starting from the goal kick, which Froger brings down. So no challenge for him there either. Dimitrovic back to Traore. Ball over the top to Lydeval. Oh, he's hit the post. You, he's got to score that. Cross from the left-hand side. And Lundgren, Lundgren I should say, with a free header at the far post, has equalised for Malmo. That's poor, because there's just nobody marking him. That's not great. Throwing from the right now for Malmo. London, Strandberg, cross goes in, and it's headed away by Jakobsen, but Skold hits it, and it's blocked. Samuel collects it, though. Strandberg crosses it in. It's the far post again. And Pivkovsky has headed in. Past the keeper with a second free header. That's the second in three minutes where we've lost a man at the far post and just let them have a free header, which you, you can't do. There's two men marking the same guy here. We're going to bring Egbedi on for Sharifi on the right-hand side. And also Arvidsson's going to come off for Brawson up front. Matori with a free kick from deep. Goes straight into the hands of Ringdal though. Not a good free kick or not a good response from the rest of the team, you could argue. Matori plays it to Dimitrovic after the goal kick, though. And Froger to Matori. Can he get it forward? No, he goes back to Froger. He takes his time. Traore back to Froger. We passed it around at the back, but we need to get a ball forward sooner rather than later because we've not got long left in this game. Ball out. Finds Leideveld. His shot's blocked, though. Brawson has been pushed, I think. We've got a penalty. 
which Traore is going to step up to take. He has been one of our most reliable players. And of course, kept us in the division last year and he makes no mistake from the penalty spot. It's actually his first of this season. He's not had a great start to the season, but he's starting to turn it around. And that is a great penalty. Our final change is going to be our final change is going to be to bring Neves on for Matori on the left hand side. He's just not really got going out there. He'll step with a corner for Malmo. Oh my god. And somehow we've still managed to lose it. And it's again a far post header. This time it hit the post, but it fell straight to Lindgren, who, again, is, is just open in the box. And despite a hard-fought battle from the team there, we've ended up losing 3-2 to Malmo. They are the team top of the league. They're unbeaten. So, you know, we know they are a good team. It's the fashion of the loss that hurts more than anything. It's the far post headers catching us out time and time again. And that's definitely something that I need to have a look at the set pieces and see what we can do to solve that. Just very quickly going to mention the new youth intake system. I love the way this looks, the way you get like the preview of what you're going to be getting in a bit more detail than what we used to get. You know, it tells me we've got one good goal, we've got one goalkeeper, but he's going to be a very good goalkeeper. Two fullbacks, is that saying that one's left fullback, one's right fullback? I'm not sure. And also attacking midfielders, we've got a couple of good centre midfielders. I just really like the way it looks. So the lineup for today's game, we've got Oscarson in goal. Jonsson comes in at centre-back. Barchan goes into defensive midfield while Troyore moves forward, replacing replacing Raul Janovic. Neres is coming in on the left-hand side, then Brawson on the right. Egbedi partners Lydavol up front this time. Throw in on the right-hand side, Jonsson gets it to Egbedi, but it's cleared away. Jonsson's going to go back and collect it, though. And then plays it back to Oscarson so that he can bring it out to Froja on the left. Forward to Neves. What can he do with it? Plays it to Lydavall. Inside to Egbedi. Can he beat them with his pace? He can, but his shot goes over the bar. Throwing on the left four guys now. Alex Anderson with space for a cross, but he's being marked. Cross still goes in. Jakobsen with the say, well, with the block. But it goes straight back to Kwame, who... Blasted it past Oscarson, who didn't really seem to know anything about it, unfortunately. The initial block here, but then as the shot comes back, I mean, that's near enough for Oscarson to at least try, really. Strand with a cross to the far post, and it goes over the bar. So at halftime, we've not actually done too bad in the first half. Brawson, however, not having a good game. His mistake led to the goal as well, so we'll bring him off for Sharifi as a punishment for that. We're going to make another change with Arvidsson coming on for Lydavall now. Free kick just inside the guy's half as they play it forward. Down the left wing, Kwame has got it here. Cross goes in and Hamadovic has headers over the bar. Final change here is Raljanovic comes on for Dimitrovic. Nevers has given the ball away here and it's might be leading to a counter-attack, but it's slowed down a little bit here. Kawami now trying to get past his man. Nudson plays the long ball down the wing. Cross probably coming in here. No, goes back to Lumbana, who goes back to Egnell. Out to Nudson, who heads back to Lumbana. They exchange the ball a couple of times. Egnell goes back to the centre-backs. And again, this is a game where, again, we've... Held our own for the most part. We've just not quite got enough about as Cross comes in. Kwame headers in to make it 2-0. And that is the problem. Again, it's a far post cross that's resulted in the goal. But we have got some guys in on trial at the minute. And we're going to be signing a couple of them up if we can. Because they do look very good. But who's it? Jonsson, who's complained to me about not playing. Then doesn't challenge for the header. So we have lost... 2-0 to guys. It was a very tough episode. We've played the two teams who were top of the league going into the episode. It's only now Malmo have dropped off out of that a little bit. They've dropped down to third because they lost to Torns, which is a surprising result, I'd say. So I think what we'll do next, we'll come back for the games against Lindome and Jokopins in August. 
and then that way we can go through to the end of the season following that. Hopefully, by then, we've picked up a few more wins after today's disappointing episode. We'll be able to see what our new signings can do if they agree to sign. And if you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Comment your prediction for where we're going to be when you come back. Subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And thank you very much for watching.